All right, I went to uh, viperantivirus.com live. I'll put the link in the description below. Uh, and it just tells you about um, Viper Rescue is designed to disinfect a system that's so infected it cannot install Viper or any other antivirus. Gives you some, uh, gives you some um, uh, instructions, basic instructions. Okay, so uh, download now. All right, now this is Google Chrome, so it, uh, it comes down uh, down here to download. All right, this is a test machine. Uh, this is what I do to. Um, uh, scan other hard drives. So I'm going to take the hard drive out of the other computer, slave it into this one, uh, use Viper to actually uh, clean it off. The other hard drive is Windows 8 and it has that buy and save um, extension in Google Chrome that's a, a pain in the rear. So uh, that's the objective. Uh, as I had stated that uh, nothing else seems to work. Okay, did a scan with the antivirus. So it looks like it's done. I'm going to click on that. Uh, and install it. I'm going to close my browser and have um, have this come up with the uh, author, author, Windows authorization. And um, do you wish to extract? And yes, I do. All right, we're going to put it into C. We're going to overwrite any any files that's there. And uh, when done, open up that. So it's going straight to Viper Rescue and unzip. Okay, hit OK, and this should go away. All right, a command line. All right, there we go. A lot of, a lot of people these days uh, are afraid of command line structures. Okay, so, so um, we're going to see what happens if another uh, GUI, GUI is graphic to user interface. Okay, and that's what we're so used to. All these things are graphic to user interface. So this is a command line structure. So so um, it's doing a deep for a deep scan. Repair kit is enabled. And star scan. So now um, okay, it looks like it's scanning this computer, which is okay. Yes, yeah, it's, it's going through and scanning the computer that's installed on, which is fine. So I'll bring you back when uh, when it's done done doing this. Okay, here's what it does as it's scrolling through doing a scan. It uh, it finds out a threat. Okay, user bill accident, roaming data, software, uh, and CH software. Okay, a toolbar. Okay, name and it gives a gives a different thing. It's a toolbar. I know who NCH is, software, and this is part of uh, me uh, testing out things, different softwares and stuff, and that's where that comes from. Alright, so this is still doing a scan. It takes a long time. It really depends just how much stuff you have on the computer. So let's uh, just keep doing the scan. Alrighty, just got out of school a little early today and uh, uh, substituting. So uh, let this thing run all the time. And 19 uh, files. Alright, 19 threats were, tre were detected. Okay, now it comes down here and says cleaning. And you can see it's Adobe. Okay, Adobe right there. Uh, everything's with Adobe. Adobe, Adobe. Okay, documents, bills, downloads. Okay, uh, Easy Looker. I don't know what that is. All right, uh, probably something my son put on there when he was doing other stuff. Vid Saver Chrome. Okay, so with something with uh, Chrome, which I'm actually uh, hoping it does on uh, the other hard drive uh, in, in, within uh, Chrome. All right, so there's a seven zip as a as a so it's quarantine. It says quarantine over here, clean cleaning quarantine. I don't know where it's quarantining to. All right, but uh, then down here it says clean complete. Uh, it took an hour and seven minutes to uh, hour and seven yeah seven minutes to actually do the clean. Ten threats were clean, so ten threats were actually deleted, I guess, or quarantine. And it says any key to continue. I'm, I'm, and then it goes away. It did extract, and I got to figure it, it went to a uh, it went to a, a folder. This is remember this is really this morning this actually did. So here's Viper Rescue. So here's the quarantine folder. All these were quarantined. All right, so these are files. So different things. I would uh, I would uh, venture to uh, delete the quarantine. 
um, because who wants to have stuff? That's what I hated about some other antivirus. Yes, I never thought something was wrong with this computer, but it did clean up some stuff. So hopefully you liked how that uh, worked out. Okay, uh, now it's time to go try, uh, try it on a Windows 8 machine.